So when we're going to ascend a fixed rope, we've got lots of options for how we can do that. With the equipment that we typically bring with us, um, our best choice is oftentimes to utilize our Purcell Prusiks and our Prusik loops. Um, if you're going to be ascending ropes regularly or long distances, uh, there are many other better options of various rope grabs and uh, progress capture and HREAs and things like that that uh, will make ascending ropes much, much easier. Uh, but for our purposes, for occasional and short distances, uh, we can use things that we'll have with us for other purposes anyway. Um, even with these, there's many different configurations that we can choose to utilize. Uh, so I have two Purcell Prusiks here and I have a, uh, a loop as well. Um, the configuration that I'll show today is um, I have chosen with both of my Purcell Prusiks to Prusik them onto the rope with the fixed end. Um, and then one of them I will uh, clip into my belay loop on my harness. Um, and then the other one is going to go to my foot down here. So I've adjusted the adjustable end so that it's a nice small loop here. And I'll take that and slide my foot right into it. And just cinch it right up on my foot. Perfect. Very good. Um, now I can push up this one that's attached to my waist. Keeps on wanting to catch on that carabiner. That's all right. I can push it up. Let's get this thing a little shorter. I can push it up, and once it's up there, then I can sit back on this. Um, now I'll need to make a little bit of progress by um, uh, getting a foot loop that I can step in. The way that I'll do that is by loosening this up, sliding it up as high as I feel like I could step, and then pulling myself up, stepping up on that thing with the foot, and then with this hand, pushing this up, and that'll allow me to sit back. I can continue to inchworm worm up, making some progress as I go, um, just with a slide, step, push, sit. Slide, step, push, sit. On and on we go. Uh, we can see in this configuration right now, I'm attached to the rope basically just with this one Purcell. This other Purcell is only really wrapped around my foot. It's not really a life safety attachment. Um, so even if I'm just ascending on this one rope, um, I certainly want a second attachment to this. A single Prusik is not adequate attachment for me if I'm going to be on this um, any distance off the ground. Uh, again, lots of ways of doing this. A simple way to do it is to take my, uh, my short Prusik loop and just with a couple of beaners, just clip right into the shelf of that fixed end there. Um, and then if for whatever reason something were to happen with this, my connection here failed or whatever, then I'm still connected in uh, with a secondary attachment. For that matter, I might also think about having a second, uh, a belay of some variety, um, you know, on a second line, uh, a self belay or a true belay on a second line, uh, a number of ways I could do that. And that would depend on the situation and my resources at hand. Uh, but certainly as a minimum, um, if I'm uh, ascending with two uh, Prusik attachments, I want to be attached to both of them. Yep. So sit, slide, step, push, sit.